I know them. This is all such nonsense. Maud as queen. What was the old man thinking? I believe he just got too comfortable with King Henry. On our way here, we had to stare at an inn. They made us eat peasant food. Gruel? Not a pinch of meat. Isn't there a law against that? You heard me, now move along. Get out of my way, guard. Every citizen has the right to petition the king. But the poorer sort are generally not foolish enough to exercise that right. What are you saying? You're talking to the son of the Earl of Shiring. I'm his daughter. If you don't let us pass, we'll have you locked away and make you rot in a dungeon. Like your father, you mean? What? You know where he is? Of course. And you should too, if you're who you say you are. He's in the jail right here in the castle. How do we get there? Go left before the gate and cross the yard. You'll need to talk to the jailer, though. His name is Odo, and he's got deep pockets. Deep pockets? Well, you lower sort cannot expect any favors for nothing. Better get used to it if you want to survive. Now, clear the way. There are people who want to see the king. I could have done this on my own. Just like you could have run away on your own without telling me anything. Shh, hush, Ellie. The people are watching us. How's your ear? It's pounding like a drum. I'm sorry. I thought I could talk to the king before you woke. You did so much yesterday. I didn't want to wake you. Please, don't be cross. It's all right. You were just trying to help. Oh, don't give me that look. Sorry. Shall we go and see Father now? Yes. That old man had quite a bit of fight in him, I heard. They whipped him for days. And when it was over, he just asked for a mug of wine. Didn't beg, but asked, hurry up, I'm thirsty. Like it was some kind of feast or something. Makes you wish he was still on our side. What a shame. Did you like what you saw, mistress? Of course not. But my husband seems to be in good health. I hope it'll stay that way. I hope so too, but you know, nowadays good food is just so hard to come by. Oh, you're so kind. That'll help to keep him fed for a while, surely. Take good care of him. I'll be at the market. Will do. Good business, mistress. What are you staring at? Your ear. You should take better care of yourself. What was that all about? I don't know, but we have our own problems. So come on. I'm fine, Ali. Um, uh, are you the jailer? Your humble servant. What is it? We're... We're here to see our father. He is the Earl of Shiring. Is he? Look like just plain Bartholomew to me. So he's here. Look at us when we're talking to you. How much have you got? We've nothing. So don't bother asking for a bribe. Man, you can't see your father. Sorry. Who was that woman? That'll be two pennies. What? Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> That's Meg. Her husband tried to trick a fellow merchant out of his purse. Wasn't good at it. Now he's lost everything. 
Then where does she get all her coin? She took over his business, works as a merchant at the market. Funny that she still cares so much for him. I wouldn't. I'll get a penny, and I'll bring it to you as soon as I can. But won't you let us see him now, just for a few moments? Get the penny first. Shouldn't be too hard. One of you must be worth something. How is he? Just tell me that, please. Is he all right? No, he's not. He's dying. Now get out of here. Are you crying? Didn't you hear what he said? Yes, but he was lying. The last time we saw Father, he was very much alive and healthy. Sometimes I wonder what is going on in that head of yours. So how are we going to get a penny? We could beg. Beggars usually ask for food or clothes. I never heard of anyone giving them money. Well, how do people get money? The king gets money from taxes, lords have rents, priests have tithes, shopkeepers have something to sell, craftsmen get wages, and peasants don't need money because they have fields. Apprentices get wages too. So do labourers. We could work. But Ali, I can't work like a common man. I'm the son of an earl. Not anymore. You heard what the jailer said. We're no better than anyone else now. Thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Excuse me, mistress. Oh, I've seen you before. You're going to see someone in the jail, right? It's the only explanation why they'd let you enter the courtyard dressed like that. That wasn't very nice. What is it? The jailer refused to let us see our father unless we paid him. Could you offer us some work? Do you even know what business I'm in? Wool. This is a wool stall, isn't it? And what do wool merchants do? Sell wool? No. Well, yes, in the end we do, but first we buy it from the peasants. The peasants bring the wool and the Flemish take it away. All I have to do is store and transport it and get the prices right. And that is cheaper if it's done alone. With some minor help from me, that is. Could you lend us some money? Unlikely. What for? We need to talk to our father. He's a prisoner in the castle's jail. And the jailer won't let us see him until we give him a penny. Once you get back to him, it'll be two pennies at least. What are you saying? Once Odo sees that you really want something, he'll start overcharging for it. In the end, he's just another businessman. At this rate, we'll never see Father. Could you help us talk to him? Ah, uh, sorry, but no. Oh, uh, what were you doing at the jail? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to pry. You know, my husband is a prisoner as well. He used to run this business, but he was caught selling it underweight. Now I have to travel to Flanders and tell my husband's agents that they don't need to worry. Leaving my entire business in this man's hands. A wise decision. A man whose calculations leave a lot to be desired. <clears throat> I tell you what, I will give you enough to pay Odo if you help us count the fleeces inside. Do you know how to count? I told you my calculations are right. There are 23 sacks. Yes, we know how to count. Then go into my stall and tell me how many there are. Thank you so much. Come on, Richard. Let's do this together. One. Two. Eight. Nine. And? Hmm. 
still 23. Let's tell them then. We're done. Good. So, tell me. All in all, there are 22 sacks of wool in there. Ali, are you sure? Tell me again, Aldous. How much did you pay per sack? As I said, for mixed quality such as this, it was one pound average. One pound per sack? Ah, selling wool is good business. With the coin you have here, this means... I'm right. We're one sack short. The children miscounted. It seems everyone miscounts apart from you. Here's your coin, girl. You confirm my own calculation, so I'm giving you more than what you asked for. If you're smart, you'll find out what Odo wants more than money. Then he might not ask for so much. What would that be? Let's just say he likes to feel like a good person every once in a while. It makes him feel less like the monster his job has made him. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. And good luck in Flanders. It'll be all right. You really gave them money? I can do with my coin whatever I like, unlike you. So don't follow my example. I won't. I'm fine, Ali. Oh, we can't afford it. I could use a new pouch, but no. We just need to find out where to go. Here. Well, that's one for you. It'll be two pence if your brother wants in as well. Are you mad? Meg told us you would try to cheat. I'm not cheating. I thought you were a decent person. Well, I... I am. But I'm also a very funny bloke. Was just fooling around with you. You can get in for free, of course. Have fun seeing your father. Just, it's still very fair. Are you both well? How have you managed? <coughs> Where have you been living? <coughs> they wouldn't tell me anything about you. It was the worst of the torture.
We're fine, Father. Don't you worry. We've been living in the castle. Matthew has been taking care of us. But you, you can't live there anymore. By now, the king has probably made that dumb oath. <coughs> Percy Hamley, the Earl. <laughs> but where's Matthew? <coughs> Why isn't he with you? He was killed by the Hamleys. No! But they did us no harm. <coughs> then, what happened to your ear, Richard? It's nothing but a mere scratch. Father, we have to ask King Stephen to release you. No! I swore an oath to King Henry. <coughs> Princess Maud and her sons will rule. I shall not swear allegiance <coughs> to Stephen, and neither will you, even if the other parents did. <coughs> Do you hear me? Yes, Father. Stephen is not our king, not, not mine, and not yours. Please, Father, please, calm yourself. Demanded that he keep it safe for you. <coughs> he was near the West Gate. What about after we get the money? What should we do? Your Aunt Edith lives in the village of Huntley on the road <coughs> to Gloucester. You are to go there. Richard, you will be a squire to her husband, Sir Simon. You will learn the arts of knighthood. <coughs> Aliena, you will... You will be lady-in-waiting to Aunt Edith until you marry. What about you? I will die in this cell. We won't let you. You will. And before you leave, I want you both <coughs> to swear an oath. We can't leave you like this. You can, and you will. Richard, pull out your sword. Now, put your hand on the hilt, my son. Swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints <coughs> that you will not rest until you are Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands I rule. I swear by Almighty God 
and Jesus Christ and all the saints that I will not rest until I am Earl of Shiring and Lord of all the lands you ruled. Now you, Helena, <coughs> swear by Almighty God and, and Jesus Christ and all the saints <coughs> that you will take care of your brother Richard until he has fulfilled his vow. What I... Ali, this isn't a game. I swear by Almighty God and Jesus Christ and all the saints that I will take care of my brother Richard until he has fulfilled his vow. Now, you need never come to this place again. No, don't, don't say that. <laughs> you have promised to rebuild what we have lost. Today, I will confess my sins Pray for my soul. Now, go! Richard. Richard, we have to go. We have to go. Open up! <laughs> 